At the dawn of motoring, the number of cars on the roads was limited by the supply of fuel. As cars gained popularity, so did petrol stations. Today, it would be hard to imagine a road system without them. So what happens when the oil runs out? Well, we could soon be filling our cars with hydrogen at a station like this one. Located just off the M4 is the first hydrogen refuelling station open to the public. It's the result of a partnership between Honda, BOC and Forward Swindon, providing a glimpse into the future of how we could all be powering our cars. And this is the Honda FCX Clarity, and it's powered by hydrogen. It's already being driven by customers in the USA and Japan, and now it's being tested on European roads. The benefit of hydrogen power is that it produces no CO2 or other harmful emissions. In fact, the only thing coming out of the back of the car is water vapour. Refuelling is similar to a conventional car, but because the hydrogen is stored under pressure, the nozzle needs to be locked into place before the 171 litre tank is filled. Well, joining me now is Nick Rolfe from BOC. Nick, everybody knows that fossil fuels are running out. Is hydrogen the answer? Well, hydrogen's the most abundant element in the universe, um, and it's available from a number of different sources. So unlike current fossil fuels like crude oil and natural gas, it will never actually run out. We've heard a lot about electric cars, so how does hydrogen compare to electric? Well, hydrogen offers a perfect blend between long-range, low-carbon mobility and climate protection. When hydrogen is used as a transport fuel, the only emission from the tower pipe is water vapour. And if you couple that with the use of renewable energy, then hydrogen offers the only transport fuel solution to be truly carbon free. So how important is this refuelling station here in Swindon? Well, this refuelling station is very important. It's the UK's first combined 350 and 700 bar station, which means it can be used for a number of different vehicle platforms, from passenger cars through to light goods vehicles and buses. We're hoping that this station can be used as a kickstart hydrogen-based mobility for the future for the UK. The sense of futuristic travel isn't just down to how the car is powered. On the dashboard, a 3D ball shows you how efficiently you're driving, glowing blue at maximum efficiency and turning yellow, then orange, when using more hydrogen. It even boasts upholstery and carpets made from a revolutionary fabric derived from cornstarch. The FCX Clarity performs well, doing a top speed of 100 miles per hour and doing 0 to 60 in just over 9 seconds. But the real benefit of this hydrogen car is that you'll get 270 miles out of a tank. To find out more about the car, I'm off to meet Thomas Brackman. He's from Honda's Research and Development Department. So Thomas, tell me more about the technology behind this car. The Honda FCX Clarity is an electric vehicle and this vehicle is powered by hydrogen and the hydrogen is fed to a fuel cell stack located between the front seats in which hydrogen and oxygen of air are converted to electricity and this electricity then runs the electric motor and this is propelling the car. So why use hydrogen? Hydrogen is very abundant. It's an element we have everywhere and plentiful and we can utilize it, especially we can produce it renewable. And that makes it so attractive because then we have a zero emission vehicle which runs electrically with a higher efficiency. How efficient is it? It's actually two times more efficient than a diesel engine powered car and three times more efficient than a petrol powered car. So how does it compare to what is already out on the roads? The vehicle itself is a vehicle without any compromise to what you are used to today. It has a performance, it's highly dynamic. It has a large range which it can cover because of its hydrogen tank which is large. So that is not so much different, although it has a powertrain which is electric. We all know that one day the oil will run out. Therefore harnessing a source of energy that's the most plentiful gas in the universe and extremely efficient is surely the best solution.